So when you're using the static eliminator air gun, you're going to want to keep it a certain distance from the surface of the polycarbonate that you're working on. So let me hold this to the side here, sort of reach around the camera and show you. You want to keep it, you know, about a half an inch away from the surface. Now, if you get it closer, the, you run the risk of actually hitting the tip on the polycarbonate. And this tip will actually, I'm going to show you, the tip will actually scratch the polycarbonate pretty easily. You see that scratch there? Uh, yeah. So that's the biggest danger that you face when you're actually cleaning your polycarbonate off or whatever. If you whack the tip onto the surface of that, it's going to leave a mark. It's going to leave a, a scratch. So you want to maintain about a half an inch of distance the whole time. Um, if you get it too far away, you're not going to get a nice forced air column to disperse any particulate that you might want to actually clean off, sort of defeats the purpose. So try to maintain you know, a good half an inch distance and uh, you'll achieve best results. And you notice that I use an angle here. Right? So you can't see the air, but you can feel it. And when it hits the surface of it, you can feel how it disperses. So I'm pretending that I have a liquid flow and forcing it out and around the sides as I go. And that's that.